Hey, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Say Being Hunted, one episode, well, one episode, god, you know, bloody fumble that intro, didn't I? Episode 486, that's what I was trying to say, ladies and gents, so, we're here on a new world, we're starting a new challenge, and I just uh, quickly came up with this one straight off the bat, just because uh, I thought it'd be much, much easier, um, just to, you know, do something fairly simple for the time being. I'm going to do a robot slaying challenge, ladies and gentlemen, today, except with a twist, we're going to kill robots from the top of a crane, you know, in the cranes in the industrial bike how you can stand on those. I'm going to become the Crane Sniper. So I'm starting off as the officer class, as you can see. Uh, let me just ditch some of my shit here that I don't actually need. Got my rifle, got my revolver, so I can do some killing with and all that. And, um... Essentially, uh, basically, I've customised all the other island biomes, so that they're all industrial biomes, so we can go to one of them in due course. I've customised the uh, robot spawn rates, as always, just to ensure that um, they're not all spawning straight from the bat, but that within, you know, 20 minutes or so, they all start to spawn in different numbers. So, we've got that. And also, on top of that, uh, we're going to do this for about an hour, so I'm going to be recording this all in one big go, and then splitting the footage down into multiple episodes and all that. So, without further ado, I'm just going to start the timer right Right now, get it going. So, we are counting down. 59 minutes and 55 seconds. Um, right, in that case, in terms of the scoring system, I'm not going for anything particularly zany or particularly crazy out there. I'm basically just going to do a point for each robot that I'm able to kill, regardless of the type. Just because, you know, like I said, I needed a quick challenge just to keep me going in the meantime for serve content and all that. And robot slaying challenges are always... Well, they're always usually some of the best, aren't they? Let's be honest. Uh, right, I just need to stock up on a few items that I can use for luring robots in and all that. Stones? Sure. I don't really use them all that often, but they'll do. So get those. So I hope you guys are all doing well out there and that you're looking forward to this here challenge that we are starting today. It's a uh, Sunday, as of when I record this, Sunday morning. I've uh, got a pretty much a you know big day ahead of me of just uh, doing a few recordings, getting a few things ready here on the channel and all that. Especially since um, I'm anticipating that over the coming days, well, maybe maybe not imminently, but at some point in maybe another week or two, I'm going to be a bit busy, and thus potentially it might be a little difficult for me to actually find time in order to. Um, well, find time for recordings, essentially, because this, this is going to be a very brief period, just um, due to circumstances IRL and all that. But nothing serious, just, um, you know, sometimes these things come up, and you have to just take a moment to, um, well, when you get the chance just to record a load of content that you can have on the channel in the meantime, just so that way you've got a fairly consistent schedule going, even when, you know, you haven't had a chance to record. It just means that lately I've been block recording Sir, I've been block recording RTCW, I've been block recording We Happy Few... Just getting a load of stuff basically done and in place, ready to go for when I inevitably have a moment where I'm um, a little too busy uh, to do anything in particular. But, um, you know, hopefully that shouldn't last long and I should be able to get the, you know, back to recording once circumstances IRL have been sorted out and all that. Like I say, nothing for you guys to worry about, don't you worry. Old Red's got this under control and all that. In the meantime, let's see now. More stones. Got a few trains, a few stones, a few bottles. Uh, might as well take some bandages whilst I'm at it. Just so I'm stocked up. As I anticipate, this is going to be one of those challenges where I'm going to get potentially shot to pieces. Depends on the robot, um, the mechanics of the robots themselves. If they're capable of actually shooting upwards and all that. Because uh, sometimes they have a bit of a struggle with that. Sometimes they don't. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you're high up on top of a structure or a building or something like that, they sort of struggle sometimes to aim sort of directly upwards. All right, you know what? I think I've got enough bandages. I don't need any more. <laughs> don't need any more of them. All right, fortunately, squires are not spawning just yet, so I can ransack some of these buildings to my heart's content. We definitely want things like bottles and trains and whatever else have you, just for the moment, like I say. Like I say, just in case we're up on a building and we need to try and lure some robots in closer. Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head off to one of the islands. I know, obviously, robots are not at full spawn rates just yet. In fact, it'll take them about 20 minutes before they start to appear in greater and greater numbers. I haven't maxed out all the robots 
but I've certainly tweaked them so that they spawn in greater numbers after certain times, which will make things much, much easier. Okay, right. Let's go over to the west. West is fine. West is absolutely fine. Let's get over there. There we go. Let me have a sip of tea whilst I'm at it. Right, so here's one of our industrial biomes. As I said, I have not customised these. I've just set them to the biome and then left the world to generate naturally. Because the problem is I've always noticed whenever I sort of start using custom stuff and I start trying to create an industrial biome that's customised, I often notice sometimes you don't get canals. And that's really something that you need on um, an industrial biome. Or, well, I say you need. It's more like that's usually one of the typical features of an industrial biome. And of course, whenever you get canals, that's what enables you to spawn things like the cranes, for example, because they only ever spawn adjacent to the canals themselves. So if you don't have canals, you don't have cranes, which is always an issue. No crane, no canal, no crane, basically, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lesson to take away from all of this. All right, so... Um, Let's have a look around here. There should be a canal and cranes around somewhere, right? Aha! Is that over there? Oh, is that a pylon? No, that might be a pylon, not a crane in the background. That is a pylon. Balls. I mean, if we need to travel to another island, we can always do so. Right, there's got to be a friggin' thing around somewhere. Canal. you just got to get towards the centre of the island, I think. That's what you got to do. Because that's usually where they are. Um, we'll keep exploring for the time being. What's that say? gone forever. <laughs> well, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? Whoever ever had that put on their uh, gravestone? I don't know. Now, that is one heck of a church. God, it would be amazing if we could climb up on that thing, wouldn't it? Let's look in the doors and see what the deal is. B buried alive? Jesus. <laughs> Always with these gravestones. Why are they so bloody ominous in that way? I don't know. What are they like, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, let's um, go investigate the old mill over here. See if it's got any dynamite in it, which it may well have. Though, having said that, I haven't really got much room in my inventory anymore, have I? I can always, I don't know, move a few things around if need be. Two sticks of dynamite is fantastic. Gunpowder and shot we don't really need. Don't have a blunderbuss, because I don't think the poachers are spawning just yet. Ah, there is more dynamite. Um, we'll tell you what, I've got so many stones. Let's get rid of a bottle. We don't need that. We can always take a stick of dynamite. And that should be everything, right? Yeah, that should be. Good, 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 good. Right, keep searching for canals. I would say let me know when you see one, ladies and gentlemen, but this isn't a stream, so you're not going to be able to help me, are you? All right, uh, this way then, I guess. We'll go over here. Crane Sniper is advancing, scouting the terrain, trying to find what the deal is around here. Hello, hello, nothing in there, just mouldy bread. That's a half-buried entrance in there, okay. Alright, there's got to be a freaking canal somewhere around here. Let's, let's go this direction, through the thicket, through the woodland, and see what the deal is. So far, we're coming up to, well, we're just past 52 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So, uh, ah, here we are. There's a town over here. This this looks like this looks like a long sort of set of structures where there's probably a canal. Ah, I see a crane up there. There we go. You see, there's always one on an industrial biome. I've played Sir often enough to know how the industrial biomes work. Right. Well, we get ourselves up here. Yeah, there's the canal right there. Find a way to climb up. We should uh, be able to do this. Oh. Can we even get onto it, though? That's the question. <laughs> uh, right. Hold on. This is this is where it can be a bit difficult, because you actually need to get onto the slope in order to be able to climb up. Uh, hold on. Yeah. No, that's not working. Hold on. And yeah. Ooh, I feel like I nearly had it then. I hope I don't get stuck, though. Otherwise, that'll be a bit of a freaking ball ache, won't it, if I do? Yeah. Okay, maybe not this one. Maybe we need to find another crane. We'll just keep travelling around until we find an island where there are cranes that we can actually climb on. 
I always wondered with those. If I ever see them, I always think, can you actually access them? Can you open them up and look inside them? And the answer to that is always no. But I always forget. Uh, right. Balloon is kind of in the way. Let's wait for him to just move off. Hmm. Sip tea whilst I'm at it. Like I say, I've got to... Um, also, well, I don't say, like, like I say, I haven't actually said this at all, what am I thinking? Um, I was about to say, um, I have a piece of paper here on my uh, side of my computer, just so I can scribble down the score as we're going along. I think making each one one point is actually going to be easy. Like I say, I, am, I haven't really planned this particular challenge out. I just basically um, just needed a challenge to do. I thought, you know what? I like climbing on the cranes. Let's make that part of the challenge, shall we? Alright, hopefully we'll be able to climb on one of these bad boys. Uh, we just need to find a way to get out of here. Get out of this canal. Ah, there might be a point over there, actually. Uh, let's see. Or can I actually just parkour up this? Oh, I might just be able to do it like this, actually. I probably could have done this, actually, with the other crane, couldn't I? Just parkour up in this way. Right, here we are. Hold on. We'll get over onto here. Onto this thing that I think is supposed to be the little sort of control cabin for it. Uh, we need to get right to the top, ideally. Or should we do, I mean, we don't we don't need to be right at the top of it, but I kind of like to. I kind of want to go up to the top of it. As long as we're on the crane, sniping from the crane, we're fine. Right here we go. Uh, ooh, well, technically the highest point is that there, but you know what? That's fine. Right, they're all down there. They ain't gonna know what's hitting them. All right. How many of you are there? They're just those like three of you are knocking around. Right, that's one robot down. That's point number one. I reckon they're just going to sort of mill around, not really knowing where I am or what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm just, you can just hear me scrabbling around with my sheet of paper. Oh, 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 careful. Two. Two points for me. There we go. That's more like it. You see, we're already going to rack them up. We're going to rack them up quite quickly, I do think. Oh, right, you're over there. There's two more of you, in fact. Excellent. You are going to move? Hold on. That's number three. There we go. He's down two. We'll probably get a fourth one here if we're not too shabby about it. Oh, where are you going? You need to stop moving, bud. There you go. No idea what hit him. Four points to start us off. That is a great set. So what we could do now, actually, is jump down from here. Go and um, loot their bodies. See if they've got anything good on them. Which I won't actually have room for, but... Well, let's go and see, shall we? It's probably going to hurt, but... No, no, never mind. We can just jump down like that. Right. Switch on torch so we can actually see what we're doing. Yeah, blackberries. I'm not really interested in those. Who's over here? You are. Okay, you have got a shotgun. Um, you know what? I don't, do I really need to be carrying this many bandages around? Probably not. You know what I could do instead? I could probably put some of these bandages in a back door, like here, for example. Um, and that way I can just come down and restock if need be. Yeah, you know what? I think that probably is for the best, isn't it? If I just do that. Uh, now, what I kind of want to do is do some real inventory management here. Here we go, like that, so I free up some space. That's how you do it, you see? And uh, that leaves me with three sets of bandages already on me, which is pretty good. You can always move some of the stones out as well, if need be. Uh, right, shotgun, there we go. We can put that in slot five, dynamite slot six. Great. Right, hold on, those other two bodies, we need to check them out as well. Alright, uh, where are they? They were over here somewhere. There's one. And the other one is over there. There he is. Uh, investigate you. You have got basically nothing. Alright. Ate your mints though, which is fine. And you have got some ammunition for us. And we'll just discard the empty shotgun so that your body stops sparking away like that. And whilst I'm at it, uh, I think I'll drink some stout. There we go. Uh, might as well destroy that. Or we'll get rid of that even. It just makes sure, you like say, you know, that eventually the bodies stop sparking. And that way I can tell if anyone uh, can be looted. There we go. Let me just make sure this one goes as well. Right, so, not a bad start. Um, I discard that. I'm not, I, I highly doubt I'm going to be doing any cooking or anything like that. I might actually, um, uh, yeah, I was about to say I might move some stuff actually over into the other back door over there, since it's closer, but actually I don't think it matters. We can just leave this here for the time being. It's got a few good stuff in it. Um, oh shit, did I just eat that? I hope I didn't. Um, I'm just going to discard... Shit, I just ate that without meaning to. 
It's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, yeah, what I'm trying to do is just discard some of the junk items so there's a bit more space for other stuff. Right, use that. In fact, use a couple of them. Oh, just scraped my microphone by accident. All right, uh, it's coming daytime, which is pretty good. Uh, get my rifle back out. There we are. All right, let's climb up again, like so. Here, 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 and up. And there we are. Right, is there anyone else in this immediate vicinity? Not at the moment. Um, looking at my stopwatch, we have basically about 45 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Um, so actually, we haven't even been here a full 20 minutes yet. So once we reach sort of the 40 minute mark, past about 20 minutes, then robots should start spawning in greater and greater numbers and different types as well. Look at that freaking sky, uh, uh, skyline though. A little cityscape. Well, not cityscape, townscape rather. Just the rooftops with all the chimneys on them. It's quite a view, isn't it? And then down the canal towards that little canal bridge over there. You see, this is kind of why I like the industrial biome. Because it's quite unique compared to a lot of the other ones. Hmm. I mean, it's not just its colour scheme, but also with the way it generates and all that. Thing is, it's just quite fascinating. But um, I think of all my biomes in Surya being hunted, I think I have to pick out if I had to pick out which ones are my favourites, I'd probably say it would be a cross between the industrial biome and probably the fens biome, actually. I don't know. I just like the fens biome because, A, it does have some unique things in terms of, like, boats and things that you see kind of, like, beached all over the place, but also because it's quite a watery biome. You usually get, like, long canals and lakes and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm getting gas from my tea. But that just makes it kind of interesting, you know? Makes it very interesting indeed. All right, we need to just keep our ears peeled. I mean, having said that, we don't need to necessarily stick to this particular crane. We could always go to other ones, couldn't we? There's no rule that says I have to stick to one crane, so maybe we should do that, in fact. Because maybe there are robots back over in this direction. That initial crane that I was at. Let's go and have a look. Let's see if we can hear anything, basically, is what I'm saying. So there's about three cranes along this canal. There is a device piece that I just saw off over there, actually. Any robots over by that? Or is it? Yes, there are. Okay, hang on. If I get onto the crane over here, maybe I can lure some people near. Hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen. Red's planning. He's thinking. He's think thank thonking. He's using his thunker. Here we go. Up here. There we go. Up here. Up here. Uh, we don't need to be right at the top now, do we? Right, can I attract their attention with a stone from all the way over there? No. How far can you throw a stone? Wow. I mean, when you're up here, you can throw them quite far, can't you? Right. I don't think the stone really makes a lot of noise, does it? Okay. Uh, what we need to try instead, then, maybe, is a bottle. In fact, how... If I get right up to the top of this crane, right up to the front of it as well, I want to do a test. How far can I throw a bottle? Just like, how far will it go if I'm right up here? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, damn, there we are. Bouncing on here like a freaking assassin out of Assassin's Creed. Absolute pro. See, I can vaguely hear their bleeping, so that means they might be able to hear bottles and things that are going all over the place. Okay, they definitely heard that. That's good. We're going to lure them in closer. I'm kind of curious, though, with their range of vision, can they see me if they get close enough when I'm stood up here? Oh, need to throw another one, just to pull them in. Okay, keep keep dragging them in. Maybe we can uh, use a clock to get them in a bit as well, if I put it to, like, shit, ten seconds. Oh, pfft. right, let's just drop him down there. That's fine. We'll do that. Come okay, on. Ten seconds. Oh, God, I wish it was on five. Oh, God, I'd better hear it. I can probably snipe them from all the way up here, but... Well, that's one of them down. So you know what? That's five points. We'll get the other one as he comes in. As well, I do think. Right. I can't even hear that alarm clock. It should have gone off by now. Well, that's six points. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. The thing is, I'm using a lot of my rifle bullets here, which is a um, bit of an issue. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so high up, the birds are so close to me. If only I uh, was still doing my alphabet challenge, I could kill. I could have killed a few of those crows then, fulfilled my C objective. 
Right, is there anyone uh, else in the immediate area? It's very quiet at the moment, but don't you worry, folks. Dem robots, they're going to show up at some point. They'll increasingly appear. Because the thing is, some more should come to actually guard this device piece, shouldn't they? At some point, I would have imagined. Uh, oh. Oh, God, there are robots down. Oh, whoa, you just saw them spawn in. Just go back a few seconds if you didn't see that and look through the sights of the rifle. They were sort of like jumping around all over the place. That was quite weird. Uh, let's see now. Let me just put this back to five seconds. Because obviously you just want something that's uh, fairly simple and straightforward. And let me put these back in slot seven. Right, let's see. Can we pull them over from this distance? Yeah, we should be able to. Oh yeah, they're all coming over. That's good. That's very good, in fact. Right, then we just need to pull them in a bit closer, I do think. Like this. Like so. And then we get our alarm clock to there. That's it. Oh shit, nope, not 15 seconds. Crap. Right, that's just going to drop off there. They'll hear it. What is doing that? Uh. What is doing that? I don't know what that is. I've never encountered that in the game before. What the hell? Uh, uh, that does not sound like the wolves. Oh, what the, the ground shaking, what, what, something, what is that? What the fuck is that? What the hell? What are you doing? What is he doing? He's smashing my stuff. Don't you hit Chester, you son of a bitch. Uh, uh, put that on. Uh, attack this. Oh my god, what the hell? Oof. What the heck is he doing? Oh my god, that really isn't good. 